What's up? I'm Chom Tom back with another vlog. So I was on the toilet taking a shite doing some research on my iPad and I stumbled over a food truck rodeo in High Point, North Carolina. And it's crazy because I've never heard of High Point, North Carolina have anything even remotely close to a food truck festival. Or maybe I'm just living under a rock. Anyway, I decided to put some clothes on and come out here to try some of the food trucks that High Point has to offer. Because again, I didn't know High Point was popping like that. So without further ado, let's get, get, get it. Oh, 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 oh. Crispy Gyoza Japanese dumplings. Uh, yeah, so I am gonna try this, but as you guys can see, I'm just like, wait. Back there. But I'm gonna stay in this line because I want to have these Japanese dumplings taste. Kind of give you like a glimpse of what's the brand's food truck. They got hand sanitizer, water, all other drinks as well, which looks Kona. Yo, that, 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 that looks pretty unique. Uh, so I'm going to return three days. I'm very, very creative. Alright, so <laughs> check this out. Prices have been changed according to the customer's attitude. I have a question. What is a, is it a gyoza? Gyoza. So the G is silent. Gyoza. Gyoza. So it's a Japanese dumpling. Um, and we have four kinds. Uh, an original, which has pork and a bit of scallop, chicken, seafood and chicken, and a rich, um, vegan. That, I can, I can rock with that, I guess. Let me do the, uh, the seafood. Miso. That's my favorite. Right. Yes, sir. Thanks. Thank Appreciate you. it. When is the last time you ever heard of a food truck giving a freaking pager? Never. Never. I mean, like it never happens. So off the rip, that's like that's 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 VIP service right there. Because now I know when my food is gonna be ready. I don't have to walk around guessing when my food's gonna be ready. I guess I'm gonna wait the 10 to 15 minutes. And we're gonna try these Japanese dumplings. Oh, it's ringing. It's only been three minutes. Oh my god. Appreciate it. Listen, I'm. Safe check this out. Appreciate it. Thanks. I don't know if I should eat this here. He here, maybe? Nope, nope, nope. No, can't do that. I see an opening. I see an opening. I see the opening. Oh, yeah, baby. Let me try another one. Let me give you accurate down. Okay, so if I'm not mistaken, that dumpling was supposed to have chicken, shrimp, scallions, mushrooms, and motherfucking cabbage. I couldn't taste none of that. I mean, nothing, nothing, nothing. Yes, we gotta take a look at the inside. Is there seafood really in there? Don't get me wrong. I love the concept. I love how you can put all those nice filling meats into a dumpling. Love that. However, I can't taste shit. And I'm a need for the beautiful lady that assisted me at the Yoza food truck, the Japanese dumplings. I'm gonna need for her and her staff to please get it together. So I gotta ask y'all one question. Have you ever had pizza in a cone? Yeah, me neither. We about to try that right now. Wow, what have we came to? Pizza in a freaking cone. Mm, 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 mm. So what is this I hear of pizza in a cone? Exactly, can you explain to me what it is? So very crispy dough. Outside, and we do a warm marinara sauce with cheese, any kind of stuffing. We put it in the oven. It's very high. Gotcha. For sure. I mean, I guess we're gonna try it, right? I mean, that's why I'm here. Thank you. Thanks. Appreciate it. I just gotta see, like, I just gotta see how they're making that. That's, that's pretty cool. That's like really so pizza and a cone. Appreciate it, man. Thanks a lot. Take care. Going back to the hot out spot. Going back to the hot out spot. Yo, before I even review this high point, listen up. Why in the hell do y'all have this loud ass music playing so damn loud I can't even hear myself think? Yes, I said hear myself think. I literally could not hear the lady that was trying to explain to me what this was. Even though it's just pizza in a cone. Listen up, high point. You better listen up good. The next time you guys have a food truck festival, keep the band at Home. I mean, damn! Hmm. Okay. All right.
it's different. So, I'm gonna give you analysis on this real quick. Nah, but one, piece in the cone is very unique. Love the concept, never heard of it, but now I'm a believer. Two, there is too much cheese on here, all right? Every bite that I took of this cone, the cheese literally drug from here to Europe. And I ain't really feeling that. What I do like about this cone here, I thought this cone was gonna be bready as hell. And it's not. It's really not. And also, the sauce to cheese ratio is just bad. There was sauce at the bottom of the cone. It was just too much cheese at the top of the cone. But anyway, I do love this. I love the concept. And I do recommend anyone to come and really just try this out. Because this is... It's alright. It's pretty good. So now I'm thirsty, right? And I want some to drink. And I want some freaking lemonade. But it's this it's this lemonade joint right here, man. Let me just show you. That mother sucker right there. It's a whole hour wait time for some freaking corn and lemonade. And there's the freaking line, like, right there. Like... Yo, that's just ridiculous. So yeah, I guess we'll just try something else. Tell me about this collard mac and cheese stuff, man. Is it good or is it not? Be honest. It's off the chart. Off the chart? Off the chart. Yo, this dude is capping, yo. <laughs> he said he ain't capping up. We're gonna try it out. We're gonna try it out. Thank you. Oh, you forgot something, you forgot something, you forgot something. Oh, yeah. Smile, smile, smile. Yeah. 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 Oh, this is hot. Oh, this is hot. This is fresh. This is burning my fingers. Should I eat it right here? Or, nope, can't do that. Oh. Bing! Y'all, that, that, mmm. That shit is hot, man. So for once, all the haters that say, Oh my God, Chum Chum doesn't eat cheese. For one, mind your business, okay? Nah, I'm just fucking with you. I'm just playing. So I have been trying cheese out here lately. And I think it depends on the type of cheese it is. Because all cheeses aren't good. So I got the soul roll, collard green mac and cheese, egg roll. Oh, Betty said it was good. I think he's capping. We gonna see how good this really is. Mmm. Okay, all right, so the mac and cheese inside of this soul roll bussin'. I mean, that mug was good and it wasn't too cheesy, which is what I like. As for the collard greens, uh, the collards. The collards were good, they could have been seasoned just a little bit more. The biggest thing I was worried about with that soul roll, shot was that I didn't know if they were gonna even out the ratio with the mac and cheese and collards. But they did, which I'm very surprised. But them collards, y'all, I'm gonna be real with you, I love the concept. But them collars need work. You got this season the collars now. But they're pretty good. So back to that lemonade line, right? So I'm Thursday in the mud, right? So I'm gonna go stand in that line and I'm gonna wait because I wanna know if that lemonade is worth the wait. Because who knows? Who knows? The Mexican street corn and lemonade could be busting. So I'm gonna go down there and I'm gonna wait in line. Alright, so the line has gotten a little bit better, you know what I'm saying, since I came in the last time. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just say this right now. I swear to God, this lemonade and this corn better be popping because it's people that's been waiting in this line for about an hour and a half now. So I'm expecting this lemonade to make me want to go home, not only smack my mama, but smack my grandma too. With that being said, good luck, man. I mean, I, damn, I tell you, good luck. So you guys sold out of everything. Yep. Lemonade, lemonade, corn, corn, the whole menu. The whole menu. So I can't get nothing. Nope. Am I gonna be on YouTube? All right, man, appreciate it, appreciate it. Alright man, Monster Ellison Lemonade, oh I'm playing me all ass. Why did you guys run out of food? And don't give me this whole, our food must be good because we sold out. No, you did not come to this food truck festival prepared. You got people pissed off bruh. It's people that's been waiting for a whole hour trying to get some lemonade. It's people that done paid and y'all ran out of lemonade. Like how do you run out of the whole menu? And then, you know what I'm saying, respect to the guy that was working there, he was laughing. That shit ain't funny. This customer's out here pissed off, like myself, because I wanted some lemonade. So Monster Ellis and Lemonade, listen to me, and I want you to listen to me real good. Don't you ever, in your mother-sucking life, come to a food truck festival unprepared. That's whack. See, that's how you develop, see? I had to, see, I had to switch cameras on y'all. That, that's how you develop a bad reputation. Cause see, now, 
I don't even want to try y'all. Why? Because y'all like to run out of freaking lemonade and corn and shit. Shout out to the guy that was on camera. I know you worked hard today. You know what I'm saying? Cool or whatever. But damn, bro, I'm just pissed. I'm sorry. I'm gonna go ahead and apologize right now. I'm gonna apologize to all the food vendors that I did not get to come to. And it's for two reasons. For one, it's raining. Just so you don't think I'm capping. And number two, it was just too freaking loud. And I want the city of Hot Point, North Carolina to just understand where I'm coming from. Hot Point, hot peasy, I have a job to do. I have a job of letting everyone know in the Carolinas where to go get some good food. And I can't do that job if it's loud as hell up in there. No disrespect to the band, I mean, I get it, I mean, it's cool, but it was a lot of people there that was complaining, complaining about it just being just too freaking loud. So Hot Point, North Carolina, I challenge you. I'm challenging you to never do that shit again. I understand the concept, you know, you wanna have live music, you want people to have fun, but that shit won't fun. It was frustrating. So ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna wrap this up. Thanks so much for tuning in to the vlog. And I will see you guys later. I holla.